Hello students, welcome to Akshar Anand classes. This is Gaffar sir, your physics faculty. Before starting the lesson, let's see some pictures here. So I'll show the pictures. Observe what happening in the pictures. So the very first picture is a wicket here. So a glass is dropping from certain height so that it is breaking. And the next thing is a quarrel is uh, hitting the something else so that it is uh, broken. And the next one is a car is uh, moving the object. A car is moving the object or else a car is hitting something so that the object is uh, moving. And the next is next is hydrostatic power plant. So this is a hydrostatic power plant. So from the hydrostatic power plant, we are having the electricity. So what is happening in the, all those things? Let's see here. First of all, a glass is breaking when it is uh, falling certain height. For example, the same glass, if you put uh, something low height, so what going to be happen? It can't break. And here also, a quarrel is uh, heating that so that the jar or the flower vase is broken. So why happen? What is happening in here? And the next is a car is when it is heating to something, the block is moving. So why? Without uh, move, motion of the car, we can't able to move this object, isn't it? So now, now in this case, the in the hydrostatic, the water is uh, producing the electricity. Water energy is producing the electricity. But how? Why? How this is happening? What is this happening? Let's see. This all the things happening because of the energy. So this all the things happening because of the energy. So so that our topic is today. Topic is what energy. Let's see the energy here. Energy and also conservation of energy. And now now see. Let's talk about energy first of all. So what is mean by energy? Energy means the capacity to do work. What is that energy? Energy means capacity to do work. And here, next, uh, the units for the energy are joules. So uh, even we have some other units, CGS units also we have. The CGS, CGS units uh, for the energy are erg. Erg is the CG unit, SI unit is joule. And the next is forms of energy. We have different forms of energy. Let's see one by one. So very first one is chemical energy and the second one is electrical energy and the third one is mechanical energy and the fourth one is thermal energy and the fifth one is nuclear energy and one more gravitational energy. So these are the some important uh, forms of energy. Uh, actually where we can observe this chemical energy yeah, you are right. We can observe chemical energy at uh, batteries exactly. And the next year, where you can observe this electrical energy? Yes, absolutely. You can. Uh, you, you are right. Yes, we can observe. Absolutely, we can find at uh, light light sources and uh, mechanical energy. Where we can observe the mechanical energy? So this is what uh, we supposed to learn today actually. And thermal energy you can observe at uh, uh, at when you are heating that geyser or using the geysers, when you are ironing the cloths, at the case you can observe this thermal energy. And nuclear energy will use generally for nuclear reactors or else in the sun also you can observe this nuclear energy. And the next is gravitational energy, this is also one kind of uh, energy type. This is you can learn in higher classes. So our intention today is uh, uh, learning about mechanical energy. Let's start this mechanical energy now. Yes. So first one is mechanical energy. What is this mechanical energy? Which object possesses the mechanical energy? And how many types of the mechanical energy we have today will then understand. So the first one is the definition of the mechanical energy. The mechanical energy means the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy. So understand sum of potential energy and kinetic energy. Now we supposed to learn what is potential energy, what is kinetic energy. Children, our students, do you know what is potential energy and kinetic energy? Yes, we don't know. 
but we have to learn now. What is this potential energy and kinetic energy? Let us see formula for this, formula for this for mechanical energy. The mechanical energy formula is what? Sum of potential energy and kinetic energy. Understand? And now, what is mean by potential energy? Let us see now, potential energy. So, potential energy, which objects having the potential energy and what is the nature of the potential energy and what kind of object possesses the kinetic potential energy today will learn easily. So, the first one is definition, look at the definition, very, in, very simple definition here. The simple definition of potential energy nothing but the energy possessed by the bodies which having due to configuration, due to height. Simply, the energy possessed by the bodies due to height, due to change in configuration is known as potential energy, simply. So, the formula for the potential energy, so yeah, before the formula, look at here. Now, a person is using the bow. So, when you are personing using the bow, when you stress the person, what happened here? When you stress this person, the bow, the bow is changing the shape. And the bow is changing the shape so that the arrow is moving forward direction. If the bow is not changing the shape, if you bow, if you not stretch the bow, you can't move the arrow forward direction, isn't it? Yes, you can't move the arrow forward direction. Am I right? And the next one more thing also you can see here. This is a a girl is moving the object by lifting something. So, when you are lifting something, this object is possessing the potential energy. The potential energy here is because of the height this object is possessing. So, here because of the shape change the energy possessed here. So, this is the way due to change in height, due to, due to change in structure, due to position the object possesses the energy, the kind of energy is known as potential energy. Now, I will write a important formula for potential energy that is called gravitational potential energy. I will write here the gravitational potential energy is a formula is mgh. Understand the gravitational potential energy formula is what? mgh. m means mass, g means acceleration due to gravity, h means height here. So, because of the height object possess energy that is known as gravitational potential energy. I know next uh, the kinetic energy, look at this kinetic energy formula first see. Let us see the formula first. If you see the formula, the kinetic energy, who, which objects possess the kinetic energy? Yes, surely the moving object possess the kinetic energy because name itself it is telling kinetic means motion. So, moving object possess the kinetic energy. So, every moving object we have potential energy. Let us see some pictures here. So, look at this, this is a person is riding the bicycle, when the person is riding the person, so this person possess kinetic energy and now here bus is moving, so this bus possess kinetic energy and also a aeroplane is uh, moving. But look at this aeroplane, the aeroplane is moving and is at height h. So, since uh, this aeroplane possesses both kinetic energy and potential energy too. So, this is a way we can define the potential energy and the formula for potential energy, look at here the formula that is half mv square. Here, m means mass of the body, v means velocity of the object. So, this is the formula for kinetic energy. Now, we learn one more topic that is belongs to IIT as well as Based on the topic, we have many examples, many questions we got in the IIT that is nothing but law of conservation of energy. Let us see that part now. So, now the thing is what law of conservation of energy. That law of conservation of energy, what is the statement of the law of conservation of energy? So, the law of conservation of energy nothing but energy neither be created nor be, nor be destroyed. Energy neither be created nor be destroyed but it changes from one form to other form. So, this is what law of conservation of energy. Simply we can tell that the change in mechanical energy is 0. 
change in mechanical energy is zero or mechanical energy is constant simply. So these two equation representing the same information as as the definition. Understand? So this is what uh, about law of conservation of energy. Now where we can conserve this law of conservation of energy? At what positions? At for what object you can conserve this? Conserve the energy. Let's see the examples now. The example one is here. This is a pendulum. Pendulum is uh, uh, oscillating. In that pendulum oscillation, we can conserve the energy because when it is moving extreme position to mean position, mean position to extreme positions, we can observe the conservation of energy. And also, one more in the another case also, you can observe the law of conservation of energy. That is nothing but for freely falling body. In the case of freely falling also, freely falling body also, we can conserve the energy. So now our intention is conserve the energy for freely falling body. Let's see. Let us observe first. Uh, conserve the energy for freely falling body. So let's start that. So this is a conservation of energy for freely falling body. No object is falling freely. Let me take uh, this object is falling from certain height h. When it is falling from certain height h, so how it is conserving? Let's see now. So now let me take uh, the position. First position of the object is this. Second position of the object is this. Third position of the object is this. In three positions, we have to see that total energy. If it is same, we can say the total energy conserved. If it is not same, the total energy is not conserved. Let us observe here. So this position you can take as A, this position B, this position C. Now at position A, let's see the energy. At position A, at position A, position A. At position A, total energy, let's see. So at position A, it is at height H and it is falling freely, so initial velocity is 0. So in that case, uh, total mechanical energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy. So now, it is at, initially it is at some height H, uh, since it is possess potential energy, energy that is MGH and it is at uh, having 0 velocity since kinetic energy become half m 0 square. So finally, the total energy at H at A is a position mechanical energy at A is equal to mgh. Understand? Similar way, let us see total energy, energy at a position, position B, energy at position B. What is the energy at position B? Again, total energy at uh, B is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy. But look at here, when the object is at position B, the object is covered some x distance. When the object covers x distance, it is at here. In this case, it possesses some height. That height you can take h minus x because it is traveling x distance, total height is h, so remaining height is h minus x. So object is at h minus x height and also having velocity, which means the object possesses two kind of energies, potential energy as well as kinetic energy. Yes, you are right. And now the potential energy, if you take that, m into g into h, h value is what? h minus x, exactly. h minus x is our height and energy, kinetic energy become half mv square. So now, mg h mg x plus half m v square I can write as 2 g x. So here 2 2 gets cancelled. Now after removing 2 2 m g x m g x also gets cancelled. So finally you will get m g h. So that is total mechanical energy h b. But we have a question. What is that question? How we have this m v square as 2 g x that is you know equation of motion third equation of motion that is nothing but v square minus u square equal to 
to ax if i apply that if i apply that initial velocity is zero so v square is equal to 2ax you will get so that way here uh, v square as 2gx you got so here acceleration you can write as a g and next uh, let's see total energy at uh, c position at position position c let's see at position c total energy again here also mechanical energy at c is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy the potential energy is uh, again potential energy at c is how much zero because no height no height so zero so next uh, kinetic energy become half m v square but what is the velocity at uh, about to reach the ground that is uh, half m v square i can write 2 g h how we have this 2 g h here how we have this 2 g h here the 2 g h we have again use this equation that is nothing but v square minus 0 square is equal to 2 g h so finally v square you will get 2 g h so total energy at c is equal to 2 2 gets cancelled mgh you will get so observe that in all the positions at all the positions what is the energy you have what is the energy you have at all the positions mgh 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 which means that at every position you have the same energy at every position you have the same energy and the what is the conclusions you got here the conclusions are first thing is when the object is at a position the energy is in the form of potential energy as the object is moving downward direction the total energy is got converted into kinetic energy when it is reaching to the ground total energy is got converted into kinetic energy this is a way the total energy potential energy got converted into kinetic energy but the total energy remains same so that is what telling the law of conservation of energy so this is the way we can conserve the energy for different kind of situations so children students i hope you have understood this the same thing you can apply for the simple pendulum also you can try at home so today i'll stop the session bye bye